iOS 17 is finally here, bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS. There are more than 400 different new features and changes that Apple has brought to iOS with iOS 17. And of course, as usual, there will be a ton of hidden features that people don't know about. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 50 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running iOS 17. Starting with the lock screen, the widgets on the lock screen are also interactive. Just like the widgets on the home screen of your device, the widgets on the lock screen will be also interactive. You can interact with them just like you saw right here, the reminders. I can just check a reminder directly from the lock screen. When you go to customize your lock screen when using a wallpaper that has the depth effect, now you will have a dedicated button here that lets you turn on or off the depth effect for that wallpaper. If you shot a portrait picture with your iPhone and you want to set it as a wallpaper, on iOS 17 you will have some really cool options. Now iOS 17 will let you customize this wallpaper like never before. So simply set it as a wallpaper and then just swipe like this to see all the cool effects that it will add to the background of that portrait picture. So as you can see right here, it will actually pick the colors from that picture and add that cold background of course you can change that color from here so you can see the style you can make it like a more like colorful you can of course swipe here and you will have all kinds of different options you can see how many like cold different wallpapers you can just get out of one picture and finally apple has added a feature that we wanted it for a long time stretching a wallpaper on the lock screen now a lot of times you will have a wallpaper that doesn't actually fit like it should on the lock screen and you will have like the black lines at the top and at the bottom but now with iOS 17 you can see it will automatically add that like blur effect to the top of the wallpaper making the wallpaper fit like it should on the lock screen. One really cool feature of iOS 17 is the ability to fill profile pictures from your contacts. So if you have, of course, your contacts set up with the picture, the profile picture, and the post and all that, when you're uploading a profile picture on the internet, it will give you the option to fill that from your contacts. Now, another really welcome change is that now when you install an app on your device, it will actually place the app on the first open space that you have on the home screen. So if I just have an open space here, try to install an app, it will place it right there and not on the second page. When downloading something from the app store, whether you're downloading a game or an app or even updating them, now you will have a timer right there that shows you how many minutes and seconds are left until your download is completed. You can now easily set timers from the spotlight search and it has a new interface so you can see how it looks right here when I search for set timers. It has those three dots right there. I can add this action to the home screen which is really cool. Of course as a shortcut you can see how it does that for me. I can go ahead and choose an image there or just choose the icon. Choose any color I want for that icon as easy as that I can have this shortcut now on the home screen of my device or I can set the timer from here tap on the timer and you have a new interface here and we can start a timer directly from the spotlight search. You will also have here some recent notes that you will see when you actually search for notes. So you can see right there, we have the recent notes that I have used. You will find them there. And of course, we have there the notes app, which we can launch from here. So for most of the apps that you actually search for, you can actually find a recent file. So if I just search for files here, as you can see, if I search for files, it will also show me my recent files right there. And of course, I can just open any of those files directly from the spotlight search. Searching for settings on the spotlight search will reveal a ton of different toggles that you can use directly from here. So if we tap on show more right there, you will see a bunch of different toggles that we can use and actually once you use one of those, it will save it on the spotlight search. So whenever you go back to the spotlight search, you don't actually need to search for them again. They will be right there. So you will have your focus modes right here and a bunch of different other options. You can also search for things like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and you will get toggles for them just like this to turn them on or off directly from the spotlight search and this will actually turn them off and not just disable them like the control center does. With iOS 17, we also get a bunch of different new widgets for the home screen and here we have a couple of those. This one is a small folder one for the shortcuts. We can have a couple of shortcuts right there, which of course you can run 
from here and then you will also have this one for the contact now this one is similar to the previous one but with ios 17 you can tap and hold and tap on edit widget now you will have to actually do this because by default it will show without the buttons so you can enable the buttons here and now it allows you to call or message directly from the widget and now let's move on to the screenshot so let's just take a screenshot here we have a couple of changes here that are pretty interesting first of all you will find here some new markup tools you will have a cry on here now which you can use of course to mark up anything you want and then if you tap the plus button here you can actually now add stickers to your screenshot so if you tap there you will have all the stickers that you have on your device or even use any of the emojis so you can just simply drag a sticker and add it right here to any of your screenshots. What you will have here as a new feature are also shapes. Now shapes have their dedicated section here. If you tap on them, you can see you will have a bunch of different shapes that you can add. Now this is really interesting because these shapes actually have a menu. If you tap on those three dots, you can actually duplicate them, copy, cut, or delete them from here. But what's really cool is that actually you can add text to these shapes so if i just double tap on that shape now i can go ahead and just type anything i want on that shape as easy as that so they have made it actually very easy for you to maybe quote something or just add something but what i really don't like about the changes that they have made to the shortcuts to actually the screenshots is that they have removed the magnifier which in my opinion was really really useful when you just want to point out something you could do that with a magnifier on the screenshots they have removed it with ios 17 and it's really annoying hopefully it will be back on the next updates now the messages app also got a few updates which are really interesting first of all you will have the apps here by tapping the plus button you will see all the different apps that you have that you can use with iMessage now here will there will be your favorite ones tapping on more there will be other apps but if you want to add any of these apps to the favorite section all you have to do is just tap and drag like this hold it and you can just go ahead and place it on the favorite spot you also get a new button here to quickly share your location so you tap right there and you can just go ahead and actually share your location as easy as that ios 17 also allows you to use your emojis as stickers so if you just tap right here on the emojis i can tap and hold an emoji and i can just drag it and place it right here as a sticker as a reaction on any of the messages and another really cool thing is that when you get a voice message with iMessage on iOS 17 you will also get a transcription of that message right there so if you don't want to listen to that message that voice message or you maybe you're somewhere where you cannot listen to it you will see the transcription right here which is really interesting another cool thing is that voice messages if you tap and hold on them can now be saved to your voice memos moving to the notes app now with the notes app we also have some pretty cool features right there at the top you will have the undo and redo button that have been added with ios 17. another thing is that now you can link notes on ios 17. so if i just tap right there and tap on add link i can go ahead and add the title of a link of a note actually and link that note to this one so just like that i just search for the title of one of my notes and i can add it to this note right here so once i tap there it will open that note which is really cool now with ios 17 apple hall has also added the mono style right there and also they have added this quote section where you can quote something as easy as this simply by tapping this button of course as long as you just place the cursor at the end of that sentence moving on to the weather app now when you go to the weather app and you go to one of the cities now with ios 17 you will be able to view the weather for the past day as well so it's 19th the day i can also view how the weather was on the 18th which is really interesting another thing ios 17 has is that if you tap there and want to change the maps or whatever whatever you're seeing there you can now also view the wind for that city which is really cool 
Moving on to the Maps app now. On Maps, you know that now you can download maps offline. So if you have a map that you have downloaded, you will be able at any time to resize it. So when you download it, you just pick a size like a, a certain area you want to download. But if you want to resize it, maybe make it even bigger, you can go ahead and resize it at any time you want. You can see it shows right here the original size. Now you can resize it at any other size. Now what you can do here is also tap download a new map when you go to your offline maps you can just go here and just simply search for any map you want and you can just download it directly from here without having to go through the maps first the maps app now will also show you weather alert so if you have a route you're going somewhere you can see right here it shows you weather alerts which are actually very useful now, Apple has added a bunch of new features to the Photos app as well. Now, one of the coolest ones is that now you can just zoom in on a photo and you can crop it right there with that button. You probably have heard about this feature, but what's really cool is that you can also tap and hold that button and it will show you here a few different options. So, you can choose how you want to crop that picture. So, you will have full screen, original, widescreen or square. You can choose any aspect ratio you want directly from that menu simply by tapping and holding the crop button which is really interesting now when you want to share a picture with iOS 17 you will now have the options here and you will have actually the format in which you want to share that photo so you will have automatic the current format in which the photo is or the most compatible format that you can choose from here now you can also now export unmodified versions of each picture. So you tap right here, it will export it to your files app unmodified with all the different informations that the photo has. Now you can create a sticker out of any of your pictures. All you have to do is just tap and hold like on a subject that that's on a picture. And it will show you the option right there. You tap on add sticker. Now you can have that as a sticker for your device. There are changes to the recently deleted album as well, basically on the UI here. So when you select the picture or all of them, you will now get three dots there and by tapping on them, you will get the menu from where you can recover or delete those pictures. On the clock app, we finally can start multiple timers. What's really cool is that you will also have preset timers here and also what you can do with iOS 17 is that you can also rename the timer so you can see right here where it says label you can just tap there and actually add a new name for that timer moving into safari when you go to the history on safari you can see what we have the history here we can now use these arrows to collapse or just to hide the history so if you just don't want to see a list here you can view just the dates right there so as you can see by tapping on the edit button we can actually go ahead and tap on any date and just delete that date from there so it will delete the history for that date which is really cool as you probably know with iOS 17 Apple has added the new profiles to the safari app now you can switch between profiles simply by swiping like this just like you do on the home screen to actually switch between different apps or pages you can just swipe like this to switch between different profiles or you can tap the arrow right here where you will see of course all the tabs groups right here and also the profiles that you can use on the shortcuts app you can see now a new view here when you want to add a new action you can see suggestions here or also when you're searching for an app let's say the camera you will see something like this tabbing there you can see a total new interface right here when you want to add an action from a certain app on the shortcuts app with iOS 17 you can set now the noise control to the new adaptive mode so they have added this with iOS 17 it's now on the shortcuts app as well you just simply select adaptive right there another really cool change to the shortcuts app which is really welcomed is that now if you have an automation that is based on location you can now actually run it without having to confirm it which is really amazing the standby mode on iOS 17 also works really good with live activities so at any time when you have a live activity going on in the background even though you're in the standby mode you will get that button in the middle right there you tap on it and you will expand the live activity directly to your screen now from here when you want to close this you will have this like line right there you just swipe up 
and you're good to go. Now on the standby mode, when you go to the second page here, what you will see here are your pictures. So basically you will see here slideshows of your pictures, but what you can do is tap and hold here and now you can tap the plus button and pick your own album from your photos and just show it right here, not just random pictures that Apple has selected. Under the seller section on the settings app, now you can rearrange your apps here, tap on sort right there, and you can sort them by usage or you can sort them by name. Also, if you just swipe all the way down here, you will find like a new button here, which allows to reset the st statistics here for your apps that have used your seller data. You can just reset them right there as easy as this. Going into the Safari settings, right here we'll have profiles. Now these are the new profiles that Apple has added to iOS 17. Now you can create new profiles directly from here. You can even customize them, of course, with different colors. Here you can choose a bunch of colors and a bunch of different icons as well. Now the profiles will also have their own settings. So if I go to one of my profiles here, you can see that now we have extensions. So you can choose to enable or disable the extensions that you have on Safari based on the profile that you're using. So it shows you here a list of the extensions that you have and you can choose whether you want to have them enabled or not. Now the profiles can also be customized after you have created them. So if I just go to like a profile that I have created here, I can always go ahead and customize it, rename it, change the icon or change the color of that profile. So that is it for this video guys. These are some of the hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running iOS 17. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.